I cannot. I cannot. I just. I don't know what to do. I cannot fit in here. In this closet. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ari, if you don't know it already, and today I am doing another K-pop reaction video, but like this is actually music video reaction video, but it's still K-pop. Okay, so today I am finally doing 80s is comeback reaction video. Like I've done two times Stray Kids and last time with Bowsy Comeback I was gonna film a video but like I wasn't home so I couldn't do it so like this time I am home and I was like We are fucking doing it finally Okay so crazy for interesting if they formate that in somehow crazy I'm gonna die here like They like to be crazy, so I have to stay calm. I just cannot go overboard. Get up. Get up. Get up. He looks so good for fresh hair. Ay, 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 ay. I cannot. I cannot. I just. I don't know what to do. I cannot fit in here in this closet. Damn, but like. I promise myself I'll not get overboard when I see him, but like... I thought Bouncy was crazy and Gorilla were crazy, but this... Oh, also I wanted to mention like um in the beginning, Hong Jun says, get up, get up, get up. And in Bausi, it was Mingi who literally said, sit back and relax, man. And now he's saying to get up. Weren't we supposed to relax? Okay. Who <laughs> sounds crazy for that? Wow. But this fire is so catchy though. Oh, Taki Taki. Call me puta. Wait, let's listen to it again. I might want to check the lyrics later. Uh, I'm <laughs> confused and like they make him do this again or either it was his idea i have no idea but like what the fuck let's let's see it again guys <laughs> oh, hey. 
Ay. Mimi is a bad girl. <laughs> Last time it was him. Oh, this is so 80s like. I will tell you later. the bird flying to the next dimension i have no clue i am so bad at interpreting like those things so like i don't know but um the thing i wanted to say is that um like i love it when groups have like the specific thing like for 80s it was like um this kind of thing like this dance break at the end of the song almost their every single like comeback song have this kind of thing at the end um, Bouncy did have, Gerda did have, Wonderland did have, and this reminds me a lot of, of Wonderland, like, um, the ending, and I've seen a lot of spoilers, and I've seen that, um, this is literally, like, the same as Wonderland, so, yes, you guys had a point here, and it literally is because it looked the same. Um, also, I wanted to listen to the rest of the songs of the album, so I think I will do it now and I will come back to you later and like just rate the songs or something. Two thousand years later. Okay, so I am back. I listened to every single song and like damn big. All I gotta say is that everyone is gonna find a song to themselves that they're gonna definitely like because uh okay. They Ariba song, okay? Mmm. Rekukeracha. Yeah. Even here in the song, in crazy form, when I ask if Sam called me puta, this is in Spanish. Um, I'm not gonna say what exactly, but um, this Latin vibe, they have a lot of Latin vibe to this album. I really like it because 80s always show like a lot of different genre of music, not just the only one and like they're not boring, okay? You really cannot get bored with them. You know what I freaking mean. If you listen to this album, then you definitely know what I mean. And um, if I was gonna rate the songs, like my favorite song is definitely Silver Light. And even uh, when I heard the preview, the instrumental preview before, I knew there was something about the song and it reminds me a lot of Take Me Home. The instrumental and the vibe is, are very similar. So like, that's definitely my favorite song and I really like um, the instrumental and um, rap part, Hong Jung and Mingyi's rap part but like one song that um, surprised me the most was definitely Mats like <laughs> okay so when I heard the instrumental like I knew it was gonna be like a bombshell song that like just so um, um I don't know, emotional or some. They like to trick us a lot. Like, for example, cyberpunk instrumental and the choreography, like, and the lyrics are just totally different things. So, like, let's just maybe not um, put them into one box. But I just had a feeling 
that song would, would be like a really bomb song and even Songwa or was it Hong Jung? one of them said that it's like really Songwa's vibe so like yes I can totally understand that and one thing I want to say is that Songwa was literally born to be a rapper but they made him a vocalist and now he's saying vocals but like his rap voice is just so amazing I am so jealous I love his rap voice so much even more than Mingi's I swear to god like just please let Soa rap more because he really does have potential to do so okay guys so that's it with my rantings and everything I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I hope some of you found this video insightful and some of you resonated with it if you have any recommendations for my next videos please let me know in the comments and I will do so in the future okay thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye